All right, so um, happy Friday. We have very short amount of time, especially after we check homework, so we got to dive in. But no brag, just fact, I won at Wingspan last night. So, um, thing now, Margo. We're going to do this thing now. You should have four homeworks on your desk. Whether they're done or not, you should be looking at them to see if they're done. And we are checking 225 and 226. So, 225. Now, your rectangle for the, like, portions of portions, your rectangle might be going the other direction, right? But we do half and three fourths, and what gets double shaded is three eighths, just like what we had in our one uh, worksheet in class. If you kept the rectangles resource page, yes. Yeah, yeah. So that's what we're, we're like checking, grading, whatever you want to say. If you have questions, ask questions. Thank you for letting us like do that. Thank you. You would have been like, shut up. No, no, no. Well, okay, so the trick is, no, the trick is, you have to be able to come back. As long as you can come back from that moment of craziness, it's fine. Whoa, she heard you call her out. She, she did call you out by name, and then she backed it up and said actually pretty much any other teacher. She did back it up. I'm just saying, I cheer over here. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you came over here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she knows, Margo. Margo, she knows. She knows. Okay. Right? Margo. She knows, girl. Margo, she knows. Probably just means Pettigrew's a better teacher than me. <laughs> All right, so questions. Questions. It's recording, so you can always go back and check this. The answer key is on Schoology. That was unlucky. <laughs> Actually, I broke Lucas yesterday in, in Accelerated Center. He, he started laughing so hard he was crying. I was letting us be a little casual because that late bus that still is like bringing people. But all right, 225. If there's no questions, we're moving on to 226. And then we're putting whatever you got in the bin. Yes. So we will review that again. So here's 226. Hey, go oldest on top, meaning 223 should be on top when you come to staple them in. You grab a worksheet twice. That's today. Today is two days. If you grab the page from back there, that is today. Yes, that is what you should have. That is not getting turned in. Mr. Hudson, I did not have to say it too, and I pulled a hamstring. You pulled a hamstring? That's not good. Are you okay? Yeah, you're like, I pulled You should have stretched. Well, like, the you should have stretched. By the way, no one has talked to me, so if you guys need mics or anything, someone needs to talk to me. Yes, I told Anna that we need to microphone. No, but you, like, you guys, the take a risk people, not right now. I'm teaching math right now. Can I do it All right, process? you're going to need a Chromebook for your table. It's not Desmos, though. We're getting on the ebook, just because I didn't want to print everything out. So if your homework's done, bring it up. If your homework's done, bring it up, turn it in. If you have multiple coming in at the same time, turn it in. If we have multiple, I got stapler here, stapler's back there, right by Nate. Oh, yeah. 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 
Hey guys, one of the other points of what we're doing with Friday homework collection is not just so I got like time to grade it, is over the weekend you have a chance to catch up. Last week, and like a couple of you, this happened last week on Monday, I or this week, I like bugged a few people like, hey, do you have that? Do you have that? Do you have that? To update like my grade book before putting it in math. So I'm not really trying to put missings in math. I'm if I get a chance, I'm gonna put the grades in over the weekend. <clears throat> but still, I like try to catch you on Monday and get it updated as quickly as possible. But if you're not getting your homeworks done through the week, you gotta use the weekend to catch up. Okay, so make a plan for yourself if you need to. Make a plan for yourself if you need to. Use the weekend. I know next week is a short week, but that doesn't mean like we can take our foot off the gas pedal. Are you gonna have a bunch of who what? No, the only other homework for us in this chapter is closure, and we're going to play review game on Monday. So we're going to play Django on Monday and should get most of the closure done. So actually, you probably won't have, except for the homework you have already that's due next week, like 231, 232, you don't really have a whole lot. I can't take your smile, Lily, because you're smiling at me like, I this, yeah, the smile coming at me is, oh my gosh, this penguin is talking about the homework that is due. But yes, okay. I, this was a bad idea. No, it wasn't. We all thought it. All right. Would anyone, would anyone like to read? If you're doing your homework, please stop. We have a lesson. Can I just write my name? Hey, would anyone like to read? Gabe, from way back there, you want to read that first paragraph? Yes. Okay. The next lesson is going to use all night. Okay. 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 I'm going to highlight that because that seems like a pretty key phrase there. The best way, like we talked about yesterday, the best way to set up graphs. Yep, continue reading. Thank you, Gabe. And you work together to solve these problems. Hey, Gabe, can you read like in a normal voice? Because I feel like you're trying to make like a funny voice. No, you've read before with a voice that doesn't sound like that. Come on, Gabe. I like We can't do a reward thing, whatever, if we can't actually have class because that's our priority. Can you read like normal? All right. Yeah, because I'm often not immediately available. All right, sweet. So Andre gets to work at his family's juice shop. Has anyone worked at, at like family shop yet? Chloe in eighth grade now works at a family shop. Yeah. Over the summers. Or All right, so we've been tracking smoothies sold, right? So three days into the, the, the tracking that we've been doing, they sold three smoothies, not three. Day four, we got five. Day six, we got ten. So all right, we're getting better, right? We're selling more smoothies. So first 12 days, right? There we go. He wants to graph this data and use it to predict day 20. Oops, sorry, my, my, my penguin arm is getting some extra. So... Go ahead and take this data that if you haven't gotten to the ebook yet, I'll review again real quick how to get to the ebook. We're going to graph it. Um, but, but actually, if you scroll in your ebook, you'll see Andre made a graph. Right? So Andre made his graph. We're going we're gonna to see can we use Andre's graph to predict day 20? Is the link for the ebook on screen? Yes. So let's review that real quick in case anyone's struggling to find it. How I get to Schoology is just through, like, um, I go to Phoenix first. So I just always go to Phoenix, and then I go to Schoology. And one of our water polo players there. I'm so jealous that we, we didn't have water polo at my school. No, but water polo is like soccer, like in the pool. <clears throat> All right, so our math page. In the links folder, which guys, some of you have gotten really good. You can just click the arrow. You don't even have to like click the folder and go there. And then first one, ebook. This isn't homework help. And then I click it again so that I leave Schoology so that it's the entire web page. 
You only have the blue book. If you click ESP, you're going to get the Spanish version. And then 232 is where we're heading. So we should all be here so that you and your partner can see all the data and everything. Now, if you click this, hey, look up here. If you click this, it drops away those side toolbars. So I would click this when you're using the ebook, the little full screen button. I would click that. Cool. Turn to your neighbor. Look at this together. Look at the graph. Look at everything we talked about yesterday. Is Andre's graph good? Is it broken? Is it missing anything? Can we use it to predict day 20? You guys could write down some thoughts if you want. This is one of those things that I realized we hadn't really used the ebook this year. We wanted to practice it. I guess we just don't have it. You got another minute before I start doing random cards to ask for thoughts from people. Hey, if we need to get tech stuff ready, we need to do it at lunch time. It's 
like a pattern. So like it does. What are your thoughts? <laughs> it's a great Van Halen song. Pass. I think you got pops. I think you got pops. Jump. 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 Like the whole time it's going up by tens? Not the whole time, but like it's supposed to be doing this like a whole Guys, look up here. This box is worth three. Then up here, Gabe just pointed out that box is worth ten. Is that all he build graphs? No. no. Yeah, we need to pick a scale. So we went up by three, then up by one, then up by two, then up by three, then up by one, then up by two. That's not allowed. So get your graph paper, which you have out, because every day you have graph paper out. Oh, wait, some of you didn't do that? Look at my surprise penguin face. I have graph paper. Wait, Mr. Hudson, if we were to get a question wrong, you should, like, to do the problem and then like right away. Have, like, yeah, you should. Yeah. So, we only have 10 minutes of class left, guys. Really 15, but hey, so especially if you're using the, the five star paper that's pretty common in here, um, we can start to kind of pay attention to how big the paper is. Hey, I don't know why I got five people talking at the same time as me. So let's make an X, Y axis. Do not go all the way to the edge of your paper because that won't leave any space for labels. So we want to at least scooch in, like leave a few blocks or a few boxes. And I'm going to draw a line that I know will at least be 10. And then I can count and make sure that I do have at least 10 because we don't want to really make a graph too much smaller than that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, I got plenty. So if we, guys, again, we put a lot of responsibility on you. If you're choosing to be off task or choosing to do something else, like this is just something you're going to miss and practice is going to be tougher. And if we follow his lead, but we're going to scale differently, label your x-axis days. So we said go at least 10 by 10, right? Give yourself at least 10 squares because we're going to use probably 10 of them. So day and smoothies, right? Go at least 10 by 10. So our numbers that we need to graph, you have in front of you on your ebook, assuming you got your ebook up, how high up do days, well, how high are we trying to get to to predict? Ivan? Uh, we could go up to 40, like that would overshoot what we need to get to. Addy, you had your hand up too. Yeah, that would be, I mean, we got to go past 12, but what are we trying to, like, what does the question ask us to predict? Day 20, right? So if we're going to use 10 boxes, yeah, if we're going to use 10 boxes, to go to 20, Margo, say it louder. 
We can go by twos. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And my graph just was a little bit bigger than it needed to be. Math. All right, then how high does smoothies need to go? Yeah, like, so we know it goes to 38, but why, Christian, are you saying possibly 50? Yeah, we're going to go up to day 20. This table is going to keep growing, and if, if this pattern keeps continuing, we're going to guess that they're, they're going to sell more. So Christian said go to 50. I like that idea. So if we're going to go to 50, what should we scale by? Five. Fives. So you don't need to label every single one, but label the first box and maybe like start to show the pattern and then you could skip. And actually, because I left a little extra space, I can label, like I can stop labeling at 50, but I might end up past 50. And then guys, let's put these points on there. So our first point, three, three, or at our first point, three, three, we're going to go to three days. Rod, you with me? You looked a little um, spaced out there for a second. No, I don't think sussy. Just you looked a little brain, uh, like, like you were super focused, right? When we were talking about your super focus that you got. Three, three would be here, right? I mean, approximately, but it's going to be between my zero and my five and between my two and my four. So about there. Four, five. Ooh, that one's a nicer. That's like right on the lines. So go ahead and keep going. I'm going to stop talking because I know when someone's saying numbers and you're thinking numbers, it doesn't really help. And actually, then I can take a moment and walk around and check in on you guys. So you should have six points on there. Yeah, don't stop just with the points I drew. Go ahead and keep doing the rest of them. So the last one I did was 920. So now I need 1028. 10, ooh, 20, 25, 28's probably like here. And 1238, whoa. Wait a minute. Guys, if you kind of try to visualize connecting these, what would it sort of look like? A ramp. It, yeah, like like a like a curved ramp, right? Oh. Kind of like like a vert ramp or a half pipe. Actually, I swipe in the internet the other day. A seven year old pulled a nine hundred on a Wait, skateboard. You know what it was? No, I'm, I could probably find it, but like, it it was sweet. Yeah, like on a vert ramp, just like you know, whatever. They landed it. Three? That's pretty crazy. All right, so yesterday we talked about, does anyone remember what we called that line that we drew yesterday? It was line of... I like everyone's like, line of... If I mumble, he'll... Line of best fit. So we're going to make a line of best fit. But guys, here's the weird thing. What it looks like is kind of a... Cur Don't, like, I would not do this if I was you. If this actually curves and follows the curve, it gets really, really steep. So most of the time we use a straight line to model these things. So let's go ahead and just try to place a straight line. Well, this would probably be zero, zero, like on days. Well, maybe not. Maybe zero, zero. I mean, you could pass through zero, zero. You don't necessarily have to. On day zero, like opening day, they could have sold smoothies. We don't know for sure. So I don't know if I try like, maybe 
maybe like this. Like, I, what we want with a line of best fit is to try to kind of go through the middle of the pattern. So maybe a little steeper, like, I don't know. This is where we're going to end up using calculators to help us, like, think about what's best. Something, one of those, I don't know, or anywhere in between. So then how can we use that to predict day 20? So Moss is saying go to 20, go up till we meet the line. So either this line or this line, I mean, it's going to be like somewhere in that range. So then Moss, how'd you get 50? Oh, because it's going up. Ah, so, so for day 20, well, and this, if I label it, it, would be 60. So for day 20, guys, make a little note here on your paper, like show what we're doing, that we go up there, then we go over. So day 20 would like they probably sold between 50 and 60 yeah so somewhere between 50 and 60 that's our prediction right day 20 probably sold between 50 and 60. donovan what's up man oh you're good you don't need to apologize for stretching well, no, it sounds like Alex needed to do more stretching because if, if you pull a muscle, it normally means you did not stretch it. And guys, as you get older, it's way easier to have that happen. All right, does that make sense why his graph was a little goofed up? So although his graph made a nice, perfect straight line, that's not what we do when we make graphs. We label our axes, then we put the points where they belong, and then we can say, well, if I try to force a line, it might look like this, but my points don't actually make a perfect line. Because, I mean, life often doesn't work out to have, like, perfect relationships. So, no, like, input, input output relationships. Sorry, math, literally, this is a relationship. There are, there are days and smoothies. Smoothies are related to days, right? This is a relationship. I mean, if we want to, this is more like probably a connections conversation, but really what would a perfect relationship be, right? Like that's a very Mr. Estesy question, but like what, what do you even, what would qualify as a perfect? All right, so hold on, because I feel like you're going to go down that rabbit hole and I need at least two more minutes of class. I should do three. But if you choose one of these challenges, A or B, and you've got it on like on your ebook, right? You should have it in front of you. I want you to draw a new set of axes. So Christian, you should probably get a new piece of paper. Get a new set of axes. They're swimming. You can't tell. Here, I'll draw. I'll draw some water. Oh, that's so beautiful. Every every person in ours. Hey, new new set of axes. So if you didn't leave enough space over here last time, leave more space. Make it at least 10 by 10. Make it at least 10 by 10. Guys, we're going to use 10, like 10 by 10 for most things we do, just because it's a nice size. Use a ruler if you want. So guys, this is going to be one of those times where on Monday, we'll have the opportunity to share with the class if we want. Choose one of these data tables. So if you want to work with all whole numbers, probably do the one about the pool. If you want to work with smaller numbers, do the one up here with distance and travel time. Label your axes. So guys, remember, we're talking like X and Y. So if we make, if we say that this would be X and this would be Y, or this would be X and this would be Y, we need to label our axes. Then we need to scale our axes. And this is all of the data we need to show. Right? This is all of the data that we need to show. So if I want to show here, what's my maximum x I need to get to? Uh, 114. What number is better than 114 that I might work with? 115. Like 115 or maybe like 120. Right, just overshoot the max number you gotta get to. 
for my Y, what's the max number? 149. Oh, we can we can make that one. Like we can make the graph 150, or we can go even bigger than that. We will pick this up on Monday. So flip even this graph paper. Flip in your binder where your papers go. If you didn't turn in your homework, hey, hold up. If you didn't turn in your homework because it's not done, do it over the weekend. If you didn't turn it in and it is done, turn it in. All right, thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. I will uh, see you at Forum to hang out with my chicken friend.